Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I've added to the channel and this one is for singles who is coming towards you. New love, that sort of energy. Somebody who doesn't have anybody in their life and they're wondering, will I meet somebody? So this will be kind of a fun reading, see what we get here. Hopefully you enjoy this, and if you do, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, leave me some feedback. Um, and if you do like this, I'll continue to do these uh, do this series monthly. I'm still doing the other love connection readings and the general readings, so um, you can look out for that. And I've also will be adding another new series called Messages from Your Spirit Guides: What You Need to Know from Your Spirit Guides. So I hope you also enjoy that. So, Sagittarius, please check the uh, description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, uh, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you've just subscribed, you've reached out for personal reading, tipped or donated to the channel is very much appreciated. And all your support really does mean a lot to me to help this channel grow, flourish, and get the uh, messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Sagittarius Singles, looking for new love. Let's see what we get for you. So we're going to pick a few signs, see what we get for signs. Then we'll look into their energy, what type of person they may be, what time of year you may run into this person, how, where, what kind of connection it will be, advice. And then I'll clarify it all with tarot. So get started here. So Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. Um, happy fall, happy Halloween. All right. So Sagittarius singles looking for new love. Who is coming towards you? Well, let's see what we get here. All right. Let's get a couple signs. Oh, these two want to stay on the table. So... I'll take those. And we have Aries and we have water. So we actually have four signs here because water is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces and Aries. So that could be a possibility for some of you. All right, so let's look into the energy of this person. What kind of person will they be? What will their energy be like for Sagittarius? New person, incoming person, new love. Who's coming towards you? Who will you meet? Who will you run into? What will their energy be like? All right, can we get one card for Sagittarius? One card for Sagittarius. What will this person be like? It's too many. Just one card. <laughs> wow. What will their energy be like and what kind of person will they be? The Sagittarius, just that card. All right, let's see what we have here. We have patience and this came kept popping out to me. So I accept that everything happens in divine order. So somebody who will be very patient. And uh, it's funny because the um, temperance card represents Sagittarius in the tarot, which represents patience, so that's just funny. So, <clears throat> somebody very patient. Okay, that's kind of a good energy. I think someone that would be very caring, nurturing, giving, um, very patient. And I'm seeing the orange chair too, which does represent fire energy. So, somebody very passionate, determined go-getter kind of energy also which would indeed represent Aries then you do have some blue here which does represent water so you could even meet somebody that has water and Aries in their chart all right so let's see like what time of year oh, that's too many I just want one okay so we have here love abounds which is uh, water energy which is cancer Scorpio and Pisces so so Pisces is February into March cancer is uh, May 
uh, June into July, and Scorpio is October into November. So that's three time frames. So <laughs> take your pick. So I guess it could be any one of those time frames. So you could meet a water sign during another water sign season or during their own season. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So, all right. So, so that's summer. So the time frame actually cups represent summer. So it may not be till next summer because we are officially in fall. So I was looking for the season. So, um, so definitely summer there. Cups represent summer. And it's so funny that it's the Ace of Cups. So you definitely could be um, having brand new love in the summertime. Meaning a water sign in the summertime. And the water signs, cups represent summer. Hmm, that's funny. Okay, so let's see where. Like where may you meet this person? Where? One card for where, one card for where. Okay, so we have speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of orientation. But what I'm getting is, you know, you see this person at a palladium, at a, you know, palladium pedestal, whatever here. So, so you're either gonna be attending some sort of live event where you're in the audience watching. You could be even watching a concert um, or somewhere where you're in the audience watching somebody either speak or um, something like that. So somewhere where, and maybe they could even be the speaker. I'm getting like, like a conference or a concert or, um, something or a motivational, uh, I don't want to say concert, but event or something like that. Wow. All right. So the where, <laughs> somewhere where, um, some sort of event where somebody is speaking and you're listening. So like I said, it could be a concert. It could be, um, it could be anything with that sort of uh, scenario. All right, so <clears throat> let's see how. How will you run into this person? It's too many. Let's take this one. Seek an expert. So it could be you are, and this person is sort of like listening to this expert. Oh my God. That is so funny. That's like two cards that like look alike here. So you could actually be listening to a professional, like motivational speaker or something like that, or maybe even like counseling or something like that, where you're listening to somebody speak to the people in some way, shape or form. And that's definitely here how, and they may even be the most bleh, motivational speaker. Hmm. Okay. So this person either, like I said, is going to be the speaker or you're going to meet them at some, somewhere where you're listening to something or something like that. Um, could even be like in a therapist office or <clears throat> something like that. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> So, you connect with this person, you connect with this person, what kind of connection will it be? Oh, I've got one already. Are you Sagittarius, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, I think this is somebody that is going to have patience in taking things slow, getting to know you. They may want to take things very, very slow and really get to know you first before they want to take things to a deeper level. Wow, that's kind of a nice energy. And I think your bond will deepen there. We do have the Ace of Cups there. Wow. All right, so let's get some advice for you. Advice for you, Sagittarius, singles. 
All right, so what's the advice for Sagittarius singles with this connection? Can I make a connection with this person? Religion and spirituality. So you could even meet them in church. That didn't even dawn on me because we have religion and spirituality here. So um, definitely here you could meet them in church or something of that nature. Wow. So I think you may have that in common. Uh, religion and spirituality. You may have something uh, with that in common. That didn't even dawn on me. Okay, so what else? And maybe they come to like the church or uh, something, whatever you go to, you know, maybe they come as a guest to speak or something like that. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, it's way too many. Let's take that one. Seeking and finding. So this is basically saying whatever you're seeking is seeking you, and it's about seeking and finding. So keep your eyes open, because I don't think you'll find this person if you don't look. If you keep your head down and you're not looking around to things around you and you're just not paying attention and you're just not, even if you're just not interested in meeting anybody, this could be like a, like a blessing in disguise. Um, I don't, I don't think it's telling you like to purposely go out and like seek, but pay attention to your surroundings, the people, places, things around you. Um, and you will probably seek and find each other. So let's see if there's anything else. Or you could both be seeking for somebody and you find each other. All right, anything else? The Sagittarius. Healthcare change. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what that means, but healthcare change. Okay. <laughs> all right so maybe you will get healthier together maybe it'll be a, maybe it'll be a very healthy relationship for the two of you and you see a lot of orange this picture is a lot of uh, fiery passionate energy also as in with the orange over here so Okay, let's clarify patience, the Knight of Wands. So, you know what, I don't feel comfortable taking that because I didn't really get to shuffle and I really didn't get to ask. So, and that's actually your energy, Sagittarius. So I think that's just telling me this is your reading. So let's clarify patience, the Sagittarius, clarify patience. The Sagittarius singles, please. Thank you so much. So now we have the Knight of Cups. So yeah, I do think this person is going to be someone that's not going, going to be someone that is not afraid to show you, you know, affection and that sort of energy. This is you know taking action a very loving, affectionate way. Coming forward with. Uh, you know, words of love, affection, that sort of energy. So I think it's someone very, uh, like, loving and honest and true and pure, that kind of energy. All right. So let's clarify summer. So summer is, like, the time frame. So... We clarify the summertime for Sagittarius. The Six of Wands. So it could be um, Six of Wands here, though, is fire energy. And this represents Leo, Sag, and Aries. So, you know, this is success and victory. So I think this will be a very successful encounter, connection. Uh, the only fire sign in summer is Leo, but we didn't get Leo here. But uh, that does represent your energy too, though, Leo Sagittarius. So, all right. So, so let's uh, clarify speaker here for... Um, 
where. So I'm getting some sort of event or something. Could be church or something like that. So we have the Six of Cups here. So this is the summer energy again. So it definitely could be in the summertime here. And uh, this, you know, represents things of the past. So... No, no, maybe you go back home and you visit your childhood uh, church or whatever you used to visit when, you know, if you did go to church or anything like that, maybe for some reason you've went back home in the summertime and you're attending church maybe with your family at your childhood church and that's where you run into this person at church maybe for some of you. All right, so let's look at how, how the Sagittarius, the three of wands. So it's a fire energy again, it's a energy again. So this, you know, a person kind of standing there waiting, uh, not really taking any action, waiting, uh, it's like a period of waiting before they can set out on a journey here. So I feel like, and you see it's funny, because she's waiting, she's waiting. So it's like you're standing there waiting. So maybe you're standing in line waiting to get communion. You're waiting to get a seat. You're waiting to, I don't know, something here where you're waiting. And I think that's how you run into this person. Hmm. Okay. So maybe you're just waiting for them to speak. Maybe, you know you know a little bit about uh, what they're speaking about. You're kind of anxious to hear what they have to say because this is a card of waiting. All right, so for this connection, we have getting to know each other. The Six of Swords, so that's a good energy. So that's uh, um, going in a better direction. So that's going in a more peaceful, calm, uh, healing direction. So I think you'll be you know, getting to know each other and Anything in the past will be gone. Anything that you've went through in the past in your lives will be gone. And you'll just be going in a better direction together. Uh, very healing, balanced, calm, peaceful place. So it's also all about communication. All right. So for your advice here, we have uh, religion and spirituality. So let's see. Got the four of swords. So, you know, this is about healing, contemplating, uh, spending some time alone. And it almost looks like a church there, if you look. So I think it'd be very, uh, if you do attend church or spiritual events or something together of that nature, whatever you practice here, I think will be very, this is also a part of healing, um, be very peaceful and healing for the two of you together. I'm getting like a very calm, peaceful connection. All right, so what is this seeking and finding for you, Sagittarius? Ugh. So we have the Page of Cups. So this, you know, communication, uh, somebody wanting to extend out an offer or accepting an offer of love in um, terms of endearment and things of that nature. So, so you know, she's almost like she's looking for love. So, so both of you could be looking for love, you know, looking for love here. And you seek and find each other. And then healthcare change here. We do have the world, which can indicate travel, movement, closing cycles, new cycles, growth, expansion. So, you know, maybe you'll just be exercising together, um, maybe getting healthier together. And I, I do think it'll be like the world for the two of you. It'll be like a whole new um, healthy sort of relationship for the two of you. Wow, Sagittarius. It's kind of a nice, calmful uh, reading here. So now we do have your energy at the bottom again with the Knight of Wands. Fiery, passionate, go-getter, action-orientated kind of energy. And then Ten of Pentacles. So this could lead to marriage, commitment, um, living a life together here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. 
And then the new beginning here with the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, um, success and victory here with the Ace of Swords. Wow. So you got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Wow, Sagittarius. If you do like this reading, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings, four readings a month. Please don't miss out on that. Best of luck to you here, um, you singles. And uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.